Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin' and thank you for joining me this morning. I see you got a bunch of you jumping on already, making sure I don't get any sounds from any of my other uh, devices that I watch your comments on because it never fails. I leave something. There's always something I forget. It's kind of like figure out, let's figure out the fun jokes. So like a drinking game. What did Linda forget? I always forget something. So we'll see what it turns out to be this time. So welcome and thank you for joining me, everybody. We are going to make a wedding card. Um, and this is from the Beautiful Bouquet Bundle. It is a stamp set and die bundle. Um, they are both carrying over to the new catalog, but the bundle price and the 10% off are not so if you want to get this at a discount and who doesn't love a sale um you gotta buy it now so you got till uh the 31st of may to pick this bundle up it is a really pretty set there's quite a few stamp sets uh stamps with the stamp set as well as dies where should i put the dies so um let me just uh let me take you down here and i'll give you a peek of uh let's try this one um a peek of so here's the stamp set and it's got 37 uh stamps on it it's got a lot of really great greetings and not just um a good for weddings you know anniversaries um but also uh you know congratulations happy birthday it's got a little bit of everything um and then you can build your bouquet or whatever with it and then it's got a lot of matching and just um dye shapes of flowers and bows and uh different things it's a real very versatile set so this is what we're going to be playing with this morning let me set that aside for a second so let me show you what we are giving away so i love to say thank you to everybody for joining me and watching so anyone who leaves a comment and it can be as simple as a hi um at the end of this broadcast i'm going to give away a set of metal rimmed pearls and if you do not win those pearls or you happen to um, catch this later, um, either on Facebook or YouTube, um, and you leave a comment there, you'll be entered to win the Happy Wishes stamp set. If you share this video and leave the comment shared with the D, um, I will enter you a second time to win that. And I'm going to pick that next week on the 20. Nine. So next Tuesday, um, we're getting to the point. I'm starting to really lose it on what day it is. I got t I oh God, I was gonna say ten, a oh, thirteen and an eleven year old. We're both in middle school, and May is like the culmination of everything when it comes to schedules. I spent from three o'clock to eight o'clock on a softball softball field or softball fields last night. My daughter is on two teams and it's just a nonstop going, going, going. So um, that's just how it is. So um, it's the 29th next Tuesday uh, is when we'll do the Happy Wishes giveaway. Um, so also, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's do the watch later giveaway from all the way back on May 9th. So again, crazy schedule with the kids. I missed last Tuesday and I'm so sorry. If I needed to get y'all's catalogs in the mail and if I didn't hustle down and get some stuff done, it wasn't gonna happen. I thought you guys would prefer to have your catalogs than uh, see my shining face. So we are going to pick that um, set that was the eclectic expression. Sorry, I had a move my random.org out of the way. You can see here everyone who has entered, and I thank you so much. This list does grow every week, and I thank you. You can see everyone whose name is doubled. It's because they they shared the video and then left a comment shared. So as I'm zipping through these real quick, okay, I'm going to hit randomize, and the name that pops to the top will be our winner. And our winner is Stephanie East. So Stephanie, ooh, uh oh, hold on. You know, you do all these things in advance. You swear you get everything all set up. And then, oh, that is not what I want. Hold on. Really? There it is. Okay. I can prep and prep and prep. Again, I told you something will go wrong. I, I always think I have it and then I don't. So Stephanie, if you head over to Crafty Stampin' Specials 
and then giveaways. Come on, computer. There we go. Um, there is a link here to click, and you fill out the form, and you can claim your prize. Um, you got two weeks to do it, and that is that. So let's get let's run through. There's a few things I just want to make sure you're all up on. I have, if you like my uh, projects and my tutorials, I have full written tutorials and video tutorials. I have over 300 written tutorials um, that are in my VIP stamp club. And um, I have all details on my website about joining me. I would love to have you join my online stamp club and get access to all of that. Okay, I know you're all starting to get the catalogs in your hands. The paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, they're all yummy. I have a paper share, an embellishment share, and a um, ribbon share. Like, oh, there, and a mega share if you want it all. Uh, Sign-ups are happening now. I would love to include you. Um, I, there's, I have full details. I have samples on there from what I did uh, for my occasion swaps so you guys can see how I package my swaps. Um, and I also, there I have pictures from on stage, and you can see all the papers if you haven't got your catalog yet. You can see everything on there. Um, so I got a little sneak peek for you. Um, also, I have, if I can find it. Come on. All right. I have a blends club. So we got 11 new colors are coming to uh, the blends lineup. So I have an original club, has all 11 original um colors i have a new blends club with all the new colors um, and then i have a give me it all if you haven't caught any of the blends um, the announcement from stampin up today is that the new 11 colors will not be in june 1st so anyone who has joined my club for the new ones um it's not it looks like it'll be mid it'll start in mid-june so i will let you guys all know but if anyone wants to join so you can join um right up through into june uh, and those details are all on uh, craftystampin.com. So let's get stampin'. So here's um, the card we are making again. It is a wedding card that I made with the, and I just had them where they go. Oh, here we go. Um, the beautiful bouquet stamp set and the matching bouquet bunch framelits. Again, these are currently, they are carrying over in the new catalog, but the bundled price is not. So these are now 10% off only through May 31st. You want to get those. Um, about an hour, I'll have a blog post um, recap uh, on my blog that will have a downloadable PDF. This is my gift to you guys, so you don't have to take too many notes. I have all the cut sizes, the photos, list of all the products that I use, and on that website there is the link to my store where you can purchase all of these items and a place to take your notes. So, oh, hello from Puerto Rico. Good morning. I love, it's always fun to see how far my reach is. <laughs> so, good morning, everybody. How are we? All right, so we're going to start. Alrighty. So I'm starting with my crumb cake. I already have it scored in half um, with my scoreboard. And there we go. And we're going to set that aside for the moment. All right, then, all right, let's 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 do all the easy stuff first. All right, so I have Early Espresso, and another wonderful thing that is carrying over is the um, Wood Textures DSP. I love this stuff. I know you guys have it. I think I've gone through like four or five packs at this point. So this is the, it kind of matches my desk. This is the whitewash one, and we are going to actually stamp on it. So I'm going to get out my, so I got Versamark, and I'm going to use, let me grab this. Um, so here's the stamp, and you can see the images on the front so that they can fit them all on are at 60%. So this is much, it's a much bigger stamp, but this, this is the image we're using, the like kind of burst of flowers. And what I want to do is... Oh, grab a piece of scrap paper and put it under my paper for a minute. Let me do this. All right. And I got, I moved where my close up is, so it's not so far away from me. So hopefully I don't screw stuff up when I'm working on it. All right. So I'm going to heat emboss. So I got to remember to use my embossing buddy. And I'm 
telling you because sometimes I need to tell myself. I, for whatever reason, the order of events in my head is stamp, emboss, then embossing buddy. And that's wrong. It's embossing buddy, then stamp. I don't know why I screw that up, but I do it all the time. So we have a band going across the um, upper third. So I kind of want my embossing to kind of start in this upper right hand corner and kind of come down. So I'm going to stamp up here and this is kind of random. So with these flowers, so if I do overlap, I'm really not going to worry about it at all. All right, let's hope I did that where I want it. Um, it's kind of hard to see on this paper, but we, we will see. All right, and now I have my copper embossing powder. Okay, and let's see. Get that all over it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now I gotta move my embossing powder or I will send it flying all over my room and have powder everywhere. I just know me. That's how I roll. <laughs> all right, let me heat the heat gun up below me. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Heating my heat gun up for a second. All right. So this is copper embossing powder on the wood texture um, DSP. Kind of gives me that like barn wedding, kind of that rustic lace and old wood look, which I love. I got it all. Let's see. Let's hit that one spot one more time. Hold on. You look for the sheen, make sure everything's shiny, and that's how you know you got it. Good enough. Good enough. All right. All right, so I'm going to attach this now to my um, early espresso. Um, all right, so this piece of Whisper White, and I'm going to put my greeting on that. Let me move all my embossing things. I'm going to use Early Espresso. Where am I going? Okay, here we go. Um, I have all the details about the how I store my embossing powder on my blog. If you head over to craftystampin.com, and I believe as you go to specials and uh, resources, downloads and resources, I have a full link to the box and the spoons and the clips and everything um, so that you can easily replicate it. I find it is the best way to deal with my embossing powders. I don't have an extra piece of paper that I have to pour them out and maybe possibly m get them mixed. Um, it has really worked for me um, as a way to store them. So if you check them out, that's where I have all my info. Okay, so I've just stamped that all the way on the far right hand side. I'm going to, um, is another strip of the DSP. This is the one that's the whole end grain of the wood. It's really kind of cool and I thought I'm a second to dry. Um, it would be a really kind of fun way um, to have a uh, background. You know, usually I would just have a different color paper, but I just like the, the texture that you get from that. I'm also going to add, because like I said, this is my uh, 
like old barn, old wood and lace. So I'm using the lace trim. This is also coming back. Everything I'm using today is coming back in the new catalog. Um, all fun stuff. So I'm going to now, so here's my bottom. And so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to add snail here. There we go. And now I'm going to place my paper on top of my lace. Let's see. So that's how. And now I'll just trim it to the ends. There we go. There we go. So there's my lace trim. All right. So I'm going to build up my base before we make the flower. Like that. All right. So I'm attaching the early espresso to my crumb cake card base with snail. All right. And I'm going to attach this uh, greeting also with snail. Let me see. There we go. So there is my base of my card. So now we're going to build the flower. So I'm going to start with my big old big shot. There we go. So I can get that in frame. Okay. So let's see. Oops. All right. So I'm using a piece, a scrap of. Um, Early espresso and a big piece of uh, Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Bay. My brain just went four directions. Uh, Blushing Bride. So let me see. So this is, it's a multi petal. It's like one, two, three, four petal flower. Um, and so I'm going to cut that out nine times. Um, and this is like a rope or a ribbon that goes around the. Um, bunch of flowers. So I'm going to cut that out of espresso. I could have cut that out of my middle um, to save paper, but I got tons of these little pieces um, for uh, of scrap. So you could do it either way. So I'm going to run this through. Diane, this, Donna, sorry, this would make a superb uh, sympathy card. Just change out the greeting to a sympathy greeting. Um, it'd be perfect for that. So there's, there's the flower, the bit. And so we're going to run that through a few more times. Where is, okay, hold on. So here is the wrap for the stem. So I'll set that aside for a second and don't want to lose my dye. All right. And on this next pass, I just got a large scrap of um, pink pear, uh, pear pizzazz. I'm just naming wrong names today. So pear pizzazz, and I'm also going to now run through the brew, the um, blushing bride again, because again I want to come up with nine. I'm trying to save passes through the uh, big shot. So if I do two at a time, but it takes me twice as long to line them up. So yeah, I don't know. That's how it goes. All right, so. There's another one of the flower. Let's pop this out, my pokey tool. Set that aside. And then there is our um, stems. Pull that out, set that aside. And now we're just doing, oops, I put the wrong one. Ugh. Okay, here we go. So now I'm gonna run this through seven more times. I thought I should, in advance I might do, these in advance, so you didn't have to watch me do it, but oh well. So let's see. I gotta poke this bad boy out. All right, and just keep running it through. Okay. 
going back and forth, back and forth. I I do use these Sizzix adhesives um, at times. For this one, I'm not going to. I don't always. I get stingy with um, certain things. And um, I get stingy with my Sizzix adhesive. <laughs> so I'm just going to use snail. And I'll show you how I'm uh, going to make this uh, bouquet. So... <laughs> come I will tell you, so Karen wonders how I come up with these ideas. I don't know some days how I come up with these ideas. I tell people um, when you don't have an idea to copy. And lots of times I quite literally, I search Pinterest, I search whatever, I find something I like. I maybe start to make it because I like it. And then as I'm making it, I'm like, oh, I should do this. Oh, I got a great idea. I can add that. And that's where I tend to find my ideas come from is from the actual process of creating and um usually by the time i'm done it looks nothing like what i started with or i'll i sometimes i'll grab a stamp set i'll grab some paper and i just you know start to go it, it, it is during the actual process that it comes to me and i many a times like i'll there, I will tell you, doing these on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there's many a Tuesday or Thursday morning I've woken up going, oh, crap, what am I going to make? And which is why I usually don't have what I'm making in the description because it's usually come to me just a mere hour or so before we're making it. Um, you just, I, I, I don't know. And so I, I always tell people when they say they don't have ideas is to just make. Copy, you know, um, do what it takes to just make and you'll, you'll see what comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I think I got enough. We'll see. I can always cut more. All right. Put this over here. All right. So let me poke out the holes out of this. So this is what I'm going to do. Here is vellum, and I got a one and three-fourths inch circle. Let's see if I can get the glare off it so you can see it. One and three-fourths, and I'm going to punch a circle. All right. Put my extra vellum down. What I'm going to do is attach the vellum to the back of this as sort of the base to kind of hold some of these flowers. Um, so I'm going to put a little, where'd my snail go? I'm put a little snail on here. We're going to attach the petals. Where do I have it on there? I have it stop about here. All right. Pull my petals over. Now I got to pop out some of these centers. I'd say most used tool in my toolbox, other than probably the Big Shot, is my paper piercing tool. I have about five of them because I do put them down all the time and then can't find them. Um, so I just thought it was better to have more than less. So pretty much anywhere you look in this craft room, there is a paper piercing tool somewhere. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I do use the the Big Shot brush, but sometimes the, something this small, it's just not worth it. There we go. Okay, I end up with a lot of confetti. I right, say so if you're ever doing a project and you want little stars, this, the center of this is all like little stars. So I end up with all these little stars. So you want to save them, maybe doing a, a 4th of July project or something. You want a lot of little stars. Make a bunch of flowers and save the middles. <laughs> all right, one more. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's move. Come on, all my little stars. No, all over the place. All right. Move all these. All right. So I'm just going to quite literally put a little bit of snail on these. And I'm just going to start to kind of build this flower around the um, vellum. 
I think actually I cut off, did I? What did I cut off? I cut off one, I cut this one off. I cut this one off because it was uh, gonna interfere with my, my greeting. I forgot about that. All right, oops. So now these are building on top of, oops. That one's gonna stick to the flowers, there we go. And then I'm gonna kind of put some here. I don't worry about the snail showing through. I will fix that when I'm done. Okay, and now fill in here. Let's see how, so this is where this is gonna go. All right, and I think I need one more there. There we go, and I think I'm gonna put one more way up here, to kind of round it out. All right, so it didn't come down far enough. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut another one to come down here. I didn't come down as far as I wanted to, but that's the beauty. We just make more. All right, here we go. This bouquet could be so cool if you also cut out, there's lots of different flower shapes with this die. So just cut out different ones in different colors. It'd be stunning. Um, this set is really quite, you get a lot with this set. The lots of different greetings, the lots of different uh, flowers. And then you could just use the stamp. You know, you really hardly even have to um, cut out these flowers. Let's see, let's cut out three more just in case. And one more. That's all the paper I got. Here we go. Come on. All righty. All right. Let's put you back again. All right. One more. All right. And pop out all our, our centers. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. I think that's good. So now, all I'm, so now I'm going to take some dimensionals and I want the flower to this to be bopped up. So I'm put some dimensionals behind here. Um, let me get the, let's see. I'm gonna try and put some here. And so I'm just, I'm gonna cut a little sliver of some dimensionals off the end of my uh, dimensional <clears throat> on the <clears throat> excuse me on the side and I was gonna put these let's see, put one whoops all right you get the backing and the top hold on there we go let's pull the back off there we go and this one I need to pull the back off too there we go all right I'll put this one down here There we go. All right. To pull all these backings off. Right. All right. So now align that right there. And there you go. Oh yeah, no, I forgot. Hold on. Always something more. So we're gonna add, um, this is the little, uh, looks like kind of like a wrap or whatever. So we just put that right there, the snail. Done. Cool, huh? Do you like that? It's a pretty set. Um, very versatile, lots of stuff you can do. You can make it more or less complicated as you wish. Um, but remember the bundle, pricing goes away, whereas everything else will stay um, 
you know, if, if the, the die and the stamp set are going to stay, the bundle pricing goes away. So let's go to our live giveaway. Oh, let me log back in because this always refresh posts. So how about you? How about you? So you got a second left to, oh, that's not what I want, uh, to say hi. So you can be entered in to the drawing as I try to find my list. To, there it is. Oh, some days the computer works with you. Sometimes the computer works against you. <clears throat> All right, pick a winner. Come on. There we go. All right. So we're gonna pick a winner. You get one entry for one entry for each. You get one entry for your comment. It's done. Okay. Our winner is Kelly Near. Kelly, please. Head over to craftystampin.com. Bum, bum. And it is specials, giveaways, and then the link here. Uh, click there and you fill out, and I will mail out the um, rimmed metal, rimmed pearls to you. Oh, some days my tongue is not working with me. So thank you guys for joining me. I will be back on Friday instead of Thursday. I got a kid doctor's appointment. Dang kids. Um, so I'll be back on Friday. And again, in about an hour, I will have the post up that'll have the full details of this project with cut sizes and the downloadable PDF. And I will see everybody on Friday. So thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you then. Bye.